Welcome. Today we're going to install the dual rectifier alternator system, the Quicktifier by Quick Start. I'm going to show you how easy it is to install this. This is a remote bridge rectifier. This has a bridge rectifier inside of it, a component for converting AC current to DC current. Alternators make AC current. The AC current comes out of these lines, goes up into a bridge rectifier in the alternator, and is converted to DC current. This is a secondary module. This is just like the rectifier, rectifier inside this alternator. And what this does is this rectifier has a fan for cooling. It takes the load off of your existing bridge rectifier to make your alternator work much better and last much longer. And what you would do then is you'd connect this remote bridge rectifier into the alternator. Then you can mount this wherever you want. You could even take, you could lengthen these lines if you want to. You could take this rectifier all the way to the trunk of your vehicle wherever you want, remote location, has negative and positive, you would also hook this to your battery, just like your regular alternator would, it brings the whole system around together, works really good, it's a very, very good product, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to connect it to a GM based alternator, this alternator is an 8244 series alternator, commonly on Suburbans and that type of thing, GM vehicles, and I've taken, I've sped things up a little bit, but you're gonna see how easy it is, Typically when you get this, these wires are not connected into the rectifier. I pre-connected them inside to the rectifier, but it's real simple. You, you open this box up and you'll see three connection points inside. They can go on any way you want. And that's what we have here. In fact, is you can connect them onto this alternator any way you want. And the first thing we're gonna do, I, I, I've sped things up here. I've drilled holes in this plastic case uh, where the leads are gonna come up through. So I sped the process up with this. It's gonna take you just a, a little bit longer, but really not much longer than what I'm doing right here. Uh, once you take your alternator off, what we do is we pop this cover off. And to pop this cover off, you rock this back. There's little clips that hold it on, and you rock that back till you pull these clips up. And you rock that back and hold that up, and then rock a screwdriver back, and you square holes. So you square holes are on the outside of the alternator, or on the outside of this plastic cover. You put a screwdriver in there and rock it back, and it, it pops those clips off the alternator, and then you can pull it off. You can see these little plastic clips that hold that cover on, and that's it. And then right here is where I drilled the three holes in, because my leads are going to come up through here. So now, we're going to connect the remote rectifier leads on this alternator. As I said, these three leads on here, these are the AC leads coming up out of the alternator, and then it goes into the bridge rectifier, and that bridge rectifier then converts it to DC current and sends it out here. The bridge rectifier is the number one component that fails on high output alternators or alternators under high demand. And so by running the secondary bridge rectifier module, you can substantially reduce the load on your internal bridge rectifier and your unit will last so much longer. Now these leads here, it does not matter which way these go on. I can put this one here, here, any, any combination you can put these on. So what we're gonna do is, We'll, we'll start, what we have to do is feed this, before I get started, we have to feed this through the cover. Uh, the pre-holes, the holes that I pre-drilled in here, we'll stick those through here. And it does not matter which way you put these in. Put that on, feed the cover up, and now we're going to attach these to the alternator. As I said, uh, the, only, the only thing that matters is when you run them through the, the housing, you want to make sure you put them on the right one. The three leads connected here, I've got some heat shrink tubing on here. All we need to do now is run our cover back up on. Listen, we pre-drilled pre our holes in here. Now this rectifier, we snap this cover down on there, and there you have it. Your quick to fire is installed, just takes a few minutes. You mount this bridge rectifier case where you want. You put your bad, positive negative battery cables on. It has one ignition wire to hook up. You'll get all kinds of power out of your alternator, greater reliability. You'll actually gain free power out of your alternator because so much power is wasted. It's a good addition. You put this back on your vehicle, mount it. This comes with the, this type looming. You put it inside here to, to organize everything and you are set.